come here and who's a local? Who flew in for this? All right, all right. Well, can you feel the energy here, you guys? <laughs> we are in San Francisco, the heart of San Francisco. We're in the Tenderloin. We're just six blocks from Twitter. I put the um, red star and the turquoise star at the bottom where Twitter is. And then we're the gold star on the top of the page. And we are five blocks from Zendesk, where the purple square is. Um, we are also right by Spotify. And if you stand on the roof, you can even see Microsoft right on Market Street. This is the new Silicon Valley, right here in San Francisco. City Hall is seven blocks from right here. We are only five blocks from where eight people were wounded in a random street shooting a few weeks ago. Can you feel the energy? <laughs> the Tenderloin is the least expensive in all of San Francisco. Affordable, they call it. <clears throat> this apartment here is on Craigslist right now for $18,000. It's a studio. As you can see, you could probably raise a family in this room if you put in some bunk beds. This is the reality of most families here. Well, it may be less crowded than the two or three generations before them, This is Fran Schaub. She lives here in the neighborhood. She's one of my students at the YMCA, and she's standing in front of a photo essay that we did in our photography class. And this is the story of her neighborhood. Yep, that is a drug needle above her head, a joint, and everything you need to shoot heroin. This is what a street corner looks like in the Tenderloin for the people who live here. Rather than commuting on a bus, a corporate bus. People tell me it's getting better, that Twitter is giving $300,000 to the community, that there are jobs. Today there are 370 jobs on Monster that pay over $100,000 a year in the Tenderloin, right here. Guess who's filling these jobs? Not Yesenia, very bright student of mine, who also knows how to code. We are trying. The YMCA, the nonprofits around here, the community, God knows we're trying. But the public schools and the parents, they're not prepared to teach these kids to fill these jobs. They will be gentrified. A polite word for relocated when they can't afford to live here anymore. A polite word. Gentrified. Sure. Some locals will get to scrub bathrooms, sweep floors, maybe even answer phones. But likely not. Most of that workforce commutes in from South San Francisco on a bus where it takes them two and a half hours to get here and take these jobs. These jobs aren't helping the locals, but they are raising the cost of living 11 to 20 percent. The one that I look at for the index of this community is how many locally owned businesses are going out of business. How many of the locally owned businesses that have been around for 30 years are going out of business? Which ones can survive living next to Twitter? How many of the places selling groceries stick around? Grocery stores that you can buy produce, fresh food. Believe it or not, but we are sitting in the middle of a food desert. It's not all doom and gloom. I don't want to bum you guys out. Here are my kids that I teach at the YMCA, some of them. There are, these are the rays of hope for our community. I decided to join.
joined the board of the Central YMCA, and I soon became a goodwill ambassador for the Y. And the Y has a local presence, but it has a global reach. It is a platform that scales. We have been in the Tenderloin for over 100 years serving this community, from small children to seniors to the homeless, providing a healthy and better quality of life. The YMCA works with tech companies like Pop17 to teach these kids tech, to give them a way off of the streets, to keep them productive. This is a group of Y kids that took a field trip with me to the Runway Accelerator in the Twitter building. We talked with startups about what it takes to be the next big thing. For these kids, 90% of their time is just getting on to tomorrow. But for that 10% of their time, let's allow them to dream big about what they want to be when they grow up, to believe that they can be the next big thing, and give them the tools and the skills for it. See the goofy guy in front of the camo shorts, kind of looking down? His name's Troy. He wants to be a rapper. Well, he actually is a rapper. He pours what little money he has into his MacBook, buying loops and music software, and he creates songs. He may not be the next Eminem, but because of the skills he's learning at the YMCA, he might become a sound engineer, a music producer, or who knows, maybe a coder. We can't turn every one of these kids into the next Larry and Sergey. If we knew how to do that, I would be a lot richer than I am today. But the one thing is, is that we can help these kids to see that they do have options. The Y model does scale. We can do things that the public schools can't or won't do. We have infrastructure for supporting kids for the long run in ways that these companies here can't. We make one dollar go a lot further. For example, $25 supports a field trip for one of these students to visit a tech company. $500 feeds 350 youth a nightly meal each week in our culinary arts program. $5,000 funds scholarships for 100 youth in our daily after school programs and code class. We would love your support. We would love your dialogue. If you make APIs, help us teach kids how to use them. Tell them that APIs are just Legos for them to assemble and make new things with. Do you know a great way to document your API? Tell it to a 15 year old. Want to know what your API could be used for? Ask someone who doesn't know what it can't be used for. These are kids who are stronger than pretty much anyone I know, who have seen more adversity in their lives as teenagers than most of us will probably ever face in our entire lives. They are a good bet. And I do hope that some of you guys will bet on them. So if you get on a plane and you go back to your local community from where you're from, also think about where you live and your local community and how you can help others succeed, especially with the youth. How you can make certain that the youth where you live are being taught to reach beyond what people expect out of them to be the next big thing. Can you feel the energy? I'm Sarah Austin. Hit me up, SarahPop17. Shoot me an email. And let me know how you can help in the Tenderloin or how I can help your community.